I'm not doing anything. Tell them what's up. What, what's up? Say what's up. What's up? We're going 12 miles an hour on a backcountry road in the middle of nowhere on our way to go see Granny B, right? Yep. Love tell, Granny B. Tell people about the Granny B. Granny B is awesome. She does, she has her okay, own you, channel. You take this. She has all sorts of videos regarding canning and gardening and composting and keeping reusing the old stuff ways. and yeah, reusing or keeping the old ways. So she's awesome. Check her out. Uh, you can type in Granny B. I think it comes up. If it doesn't, type in jalapeno pear jelly and you will get her recipe. And it's Granny B E E. Yes. Right? Like the insect. Right. It's B. Granny B. So she is awesome. Go check her out. We're looking forward to spending the day with her and her husband, Mr. Bruce. And um, we're going to help them out with some projects that they need and just have a have a good fun day. And so. who are you? There's lots of new people at the channel, so who are you? I'm Hami Biscuits. And you're some lady I picked up off the street? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. You know. You got a channel. I have a channel. You do home study things. I do home study things. Right. And my name's Hami and I have a poultry addiction. I have a poultry addiction, yes. <laughs> I have a big poultry addiction, which uh, I'm going to be doing a video on that soon. So cool. uh, go check me out, Tommy Biscuits, and all that. And we're going to go help some people out because that's what you do when you're part of a team, a tribe, a mag, a community put whatever label you want to on it. We're gonna go help some people out. Uh, Granny B and Mr. Bruce are awesome. And they got some kind of tree something something. So dead I'm the- tree. Dead tree. Dead tree. That they need help with. And amongst other things in the tribe and the mag, I am a tree guy. So I got a chainsaw. And a rock, a tree and a rock. Yeah. Between a rock and a hard place as they would say. So we're gonna go do some work, eat some lunch, and fellowship. You, you got all you got all spiffied up. Okay, we are on site, and we did a little tree work. Mr. Bruce back there, and this uh, about 24 inch diameter pine tree. We're gonna knock down. We got a rope hooked to it to two two ton come alongs hooked to the base of this tree here. And uh, we're gonna try and lay it just in line with this rope. So that's the tree portion. So I'm about to do that. And then we had to take a rock off of this, right? We have moved the rock. It's a heavy rock. It ain't a big rock, but it's a heavy rock. Yeah, somewhere near that one right there. And it was on top of this barrel and underneath this barrel was this wellhead. So now you can play with a wellhead, right? <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> yep. All right. So you stay over here by the wellhead. Yes, sir. I'm gonna give my wife this phone, and then I'm gonna put, lay this tree on the ground. Yes. Be it the Father's will. He is one big fella. <laughs> you can edit that out. If you need.
just a wiggling. So close. One good breeze and it's gone. <laughs> Stand back. Oh, Here it comes, Here babe. No joke. Okay. <laughs> That's a widow maker if I ever saw one. Hey people, so as far as making that cut, the hinge cut, uh, the notch, and the back cut, I did everything right as far as the direction of cut and the whole nine, but the bottom of this is rotten, so it didn't go the way I wanted it to go, it went the way it wanted to go. That's why I had a rope on it, because over here, we have single phase power. And with that rope, the rope was partially to pull it, try and pull it the direction I wanted it to go, but also partially to put it on a leash so it could not come back this way into that and into all these people whom I love over here. So we're gonna fix this and get this on the ground, but uh, I'm not terribly surprised that it looks like that, not the way I wanted it to, but uh, we can fix. But yeah, just something to be aware of because this happens in logging and tree cutting all the time. It should have gone the direction I wanted it to go, according to physics, but it didn't go the direction that I wanted it to go because it's rotten at the bottom. So there's a little lesson learned. Uh, let's put this on time lapse. Okay. okay. All right, is there anything better than water with ice out of a mason jar after a little bit of hard work? No, no there's not. Well, we got uh, two for the price of one on the tree, but uh, at least the rock was easy. <laughs> so 
you know, it just goes to show you, I've been running the chainsaw for over 20 years and no, not regularly as a white, but I have 20 years of experience behind a saw. Um, Five-ish years of that intensively. And this didn't go according to plan, but we had a fail safe, the rope, which kept it from going into the power line. So yeah, it's good. You never know what you're gonna get, but we did ask the father to put this tree right where he wanted it. And I'm guessing that's where he wanted it. So for whatever reason, that oak tree needed to go as well. The pine had a Y that fell around that oak tree so i wasn't able to pull it out with the rope so we felled the oak tree as well to get them both on the ground <laughs> granny b and mr bruce were okay with it so i don't love that but it's on the ground and it's safe now and it's cut up into pieces that'll be handled at a later date so there's the tree and the rock the adventure of the tree and the rock we got to clean up our toys and go eat lunch Okay, we are back from uh, an afternoon with Mr. Bruce and Granny B. If you're into keeping the old ways and you wanna learn some super smart things from a super smart lady, Granny B, B-E-E, -E, here on YouTube. Um, we gotta feed some bottle babies and then we got some other things to do, so we had to head back, but yeah. Just remember, the tree goes where Yah wants it to go. It's not your way, it's Yahweh, so. Luckily, it didn't come back over on itself and go into the power lines, but we got it down and cut up and all's well that ends well. I really don't like having to put that, uh, put that oak on the ground. It was a nice oak, but they were saying they were actually thinking about taking it out anyway, so all's well that ends well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez is smart, give it a thumbs down. Shalom and blessings, y'all.